Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? My name is Sega, and welcome back to another episode of Laurel Heroes. Today, we are going to make an account update, like the last video, where I show you how I equip my heroes. The last one was about the Guardians. Now, we are going to talk about the Warriors. So, that's why we have like Johan right here. We his new skin or uh, yeah he's a really nice looking guy and like always I wanna say thank you for the comments you guys rock thank you very much I'm so sorry if I take too long to make videos I just like how can I say this life happened <laughs> so we are here and we're gonna start now because the spanish video took almost one hour to make let's hope we can take less time doing this i'm gonna start the tire list here starting with the best warriors that i think they are the best but on the on my channel i'm gonna leave the tire list in the comments in the description yeah in the description <laughs> i'm gonna leave that in the description um that's it we are gonna see all my warriors i don't have all of them as you can see there's 24 warriors in the game i have 11 i need to buy like a couple two uh, i mean i need to I miss a couple free ones, but I don't have the money to get the, the premium ones. But if you ask me who are the best premiums to get, I will say the best one is Dark Lucilica. The second one could be Water Lynn, Water Alep. Water, no, Water Russia is uh, a free union. I think I can recruit him with, yeah, with Renown. No. The other one could be maybe for the Cold Zeon. You can use Air Aslan. If you need to revive <laughs> someone, you can use Dark Charlotte. She's the only one who is not a cleric and the one who can revive dead allies you can try to get a huge band of the one of the new ones fire ricardo or like barretta but anyway i'm gonna leave them in the tire list we're gonna start with the best one i believe you guys already know the best one is Air Lapless. If we can take a look of his skills, we can see the first one. His basic skill can stun the enemy. The second one doesn't do much. His ultimate just damage. And um, passives is about critical and more damage. So he's like a damage dealer warrior but remember warriors are not here to do damage that's not the main purpose of the warriors because the game makes warriors like natural on defense and natural on attack so if you want to do a tons of damage it's better to use a striker use warriors in other cases like controlling the enemy but since air lapless can control the enemy and do a lot of damage i believe he's really good for building like a striker so i built him with a lot of damage critical hit rate and i try to do some critical hit damage just focus on those three elements mine has a little bit more defense but remember he 
uh, uh, remember about his ultimate that uh, buff him with defense. So this one you can swap for more attack. Try to get 20k, 20,000 of HP. And that's it. All the damage, all the attack, all the critical hit damage uh, that you can. And if you ask me if it's better to use the Riven set over the Vengeful set, I believe this one is better because you don't get like this, you don't get this uh, buff activated every time because you always doesn't get more than 25% of damage. It's better to use this one if you get the 45%. But anyway, like I don't use warriors a lot because I my play style is different from other people's. I just equip my warriors just with the minimum equipment for the Colosseum. No, not the Colosseum, the Obelix. Yeah. <laughs> so let's take a look of his skill. We got his weapon, his armor, gloves, boots, ring, and necklace. The one I recommend is full attack, sun speed, not defense, some critical hit rate that you can hit like over 80% and a lot of critical hit damage. Now let's check the second best one, which I believe is Water Lumi. And why Water Lumi? Let's take a look of her skills. This one is the important one. Attack all enemies and has a 100% chance to reduce the action gauge by 20%, plus 60% chance to inflict sleep. This one is really good to sleep the enemies on PvP or any instance in the game. This one is really good for PvP too, and this one is sleep as well. So she's like a controlling world about her weapon. I believe this one is the best one for the speed, but this one is good if you need more chance because this one decreases the enemy resistance and in in-game you need a lot of the, the buff chains because for the resistance of the enemy and that's why I'm using the second one I don't have the third one but this one I will never use this weapon if I have because I believe these two are better if I, I need more speed if I need more the buff chains Let's take a look of her equip. As you can see, her weapon, body armor, gloves, boots, ring with the buff rate, and necklace with speed. I have the defense set because it's the only necklace I have with speed. Other ones, I will recommend the revenge set because if she does a counter attack she will sleep the enemy so it's better to have the revenge set about the attributes try to focus on the buff rate and speed a lot of speed so you can start the turn and sleep the enemy and a lot of the buff rate so you sleep can land into the enemy so I have like almost 90% plus 20, that makes 119, 120, you can say like that. 
no, I mean 110, 109. <laughs> Let's say like that. Plus the 60% that the ultimate gives. So it's a lot at the book rate. And that's it. You don't need anything else. You can have more speed so she can stay longer in the battlefield or more defense. But the main attributes is the boot rate and speed. Now let's go with the third one. I believe the third one was a surprise because we got after the, the last patch, we got a skill balance of Earth Snyder and he got one of the best skill balance. He got the the sub damage on all of his skills and that's really good. That's that's something wonderful because now we can use our Snyder. He used to be useless. Now we can use him on endgame, on raids, on um, the last floor of the Obelix. If you guys reach the 50 floor, remember the enemies there is gonna keep healing and we got his uh, poison sub damage plus this weapon the second one which inflict wither the wither prevents the enemy to heal so if we use Earth Snyder basic skill we're gonna destroy the enemy very easy it's a uh, extra tip I give you is like the easiest floor of the Obelix because Earth is neither new skills. You can prevent the enemy to heal and you can poison the enemy. So you're gonna do a lot of damage in the same process. So you got the basic attack with sad damage, his second attack with two stacks of sub damage, his ultimate with two stacks of sub damage, and that's it. The other thing you don't need, you don't care. Let's take a look of his equipment. Remember to have a lot of the boost rate so the sub damage or the poison can land, and a lot of speed. I believe that's the only things you need. You don't need attack, this doesn't matter. The, the sub damage is based on the enemy max HP, not the user attack. Try to have health so you can stay longer on the battlefield, same as the defense. He's really good for endgame, like the raids, the land obelix, and some stays in. EX mode or the extreme mode, but that's it. It's good to have air Snyder in the end game team or in the poison team, too. Let's take a look at his weapon. As you can see, I use the efficacy set, but you don't need to use this. Better to use the counter attack set. It's used that. Uh, I want to land the, the poison damage every time. About his body armor, gloves, boots, and ring. I got this on the free, on the free, on the free gacha. I, I didn't pull for any of his equipment. I got this for free. And I got a necklace with the buff, right? The ring is with the critical hit rate. I need to change this one. This one is not really good. I use him, I I use this for the ultimate, but this one is not a good option. It's better to have speed and oh, health, maybe. Okay, now we got the fourth one, which is Ersaira. I believe she's really good for the her first skill, the basic attack, which decreases the enemy's defense, so she can break defense. 
and the set the other skill does damage it depends on the speed the user speed but she's not here for the damage she's here for the defense break <laughs> she's here to, just to break defense about her equipment try to have a lot of speed and that's it so on the buff right bow a lot of speed i have her with health some defense some attack a lot of speed and some the buff ray i need to skill or to pump up this one because she miss maybe a couple uh defense break but not too much because the the skill one is really high it's 60 percent plus 20, 80 plus 10 is 90 percent. It's really hard, bro. Anyway, in some rates, is she's gonna miss. And I don't have a good set for her because uh, I'm been swapping gears, trying new things. But I recommend, as always, that revenge set, and try to have a lot of speed, a lot of speed on these parts like this one. This one is really good. I'm gonna swap this one, to be honest. It's better to use this one. More speed. Yeah, you can see the party armor has a lot of speed and it's for light selfie. <laughs> it's more speed on her gloves, more speed on her boots, ring and necklace, use speed. And that's it. I need to swap these two. Oh, well, maybe I try to do this later. I think I have her and other heroes. Yeah, I got boots right here. Not saying speed. That's too bad. But as airside, I got too many boots here. <laughs> okay, now we go to the feet. Hero, I believe this one is really hard to choose because I believe Light Sophie can do a lot. Oh, the other one is this one, Dardurahan. Oh, Water Ast. Well, I'm gonna start with Light Sophie. Why Light Sophie? Because her basic attack buff her attack <laughs> buff her attack up to five times that's like a sum of 20 percent of her attack that's really good so if we use a counter attack set with her she's gonna buff her attack uh, and do a tons of damage her second skill is gonna break defense, reduce the enemy defense, and her ultimate has something new that is it was Walter like Walter only buff but now some heroes after a skill balance she got the new electric chuck the buff which is really good because it's 15 percent more damage plus the buff plus the the defense that she reduced plus her base attack she can do a lot of damage so that's why she got the fit lights and she doesn't have a weapon yet but we can check her equipment as you can see, we have speed and attack. I try to have her with a lot of speed so she can break defense first on rights and do a lot of damage. But as you can see, I didn't achieve my goal, so I'm waiting to get better equipment for her. Right now, I'm going to show you what I have at the moment. Try to build her with 
Alara critical key rate, critical key damage, and Alara damage. That's it. She doesn't need any more. But like I said before, warriors are not meant to do damage. They do a lot of damage if we build them with a lot of damage, but a striker is gonna do always more damage. Next one we got Warrior Archery. Warrior Archery used to be a really good warrior in the first months of the game because when you got to Cartis on hard mode, remember on the early days we didn't have a stream mode, use hard mode. She could, let's say, one shot Cartis. And why one shot? Because we her ultimate, she, you, she can reduce the move of the enemies. So with her ultimate at level four, nobody can move and you keep killing the, the enemy. So you don't get any damage. That was really good strategy in old days. I used that at normal mode on my heroes at level 15. 15, not 10, not 20, not 25. I beat normal mode on level 15, then hard mode on level and level 25, I believe. But or level 20 because I just use a strategy, not a straight damage. And for when we got the the ray boss, the warrior boss on extreme mode, she was a really good element to take down that boss. I think I got a video on my channel about that on the early games because we didn't leave the enemy moves with this skill and now she can stun the enemy too so these two skills are really good this one it gives her a buff a counter attack buff but that's it this, these two are really important for her used to be really important because we don't use her anymore but i recommend her to build with a lava speed and the buff ray. I believe that the buff ray for the ultimate is 100%, 50 and 100. As you can see, I didn't scope her up, so I used those 50% plus this 71%. Uh, that was enough to reduce the enemy movements plus the stunt. So, Try to have a lot of speed, and if you fail, try to have her as tanky as you can with a lot of health and defense. Try to have EG1 some damage, but she's not gonna do a ton of damage, so don't worry about that. Let's take a look of her equipment, her weapon, body armor, gloves, boots, all with a speed ring and necklace with speed she doesn't have a relic weapon yet so we got to wait the next one i believe is going going to be fire chrome fire chrome is another damage dealer but as always he's a warrior so he doesn't do a lot of damage i just use to use him on Colosseum because I used to have a basic combo team and with that basic combo team I didn't use energy to call the enemy use basic skills and I remember I used to use this skill a lot this one increased the fire chrome attack power critical hit rate and critical hit damage for two turns if you just kill this up, it's gonna be an, on every turn. It's gonna buff his attack. Like um, I test him now a couple times, and I believe it's like a 40% of his attack, 40% of the critical hit rate. So you don't need critical 
but you will need a lot of critical hit damage because he's gonna do a ton of damage he's gonna do critical and you need to buff the damage or you can so you can kill the enemy really fast plus the one of the passive uh yeah passive skill increase his attack and his ultimate doesn't do anything but use damage oh one one of his important things for endgame is the wither debuff but mm, to be honest nobody use him for that now take a look of his equipment about his really equip on this one is really good because the attack does more damage easy as that his second weapon the, if he deals a critical hit rate i'm sorry if he deals a critical hit he's gonna steal one buff of the enemy this one might work if you fight against let's say fire vanessa and you want to steal her ultimate so it's not really it's not work to use this whip and the divine relic which is supposed to be the best one it has a cool reduction change which if you skill his up he if you skill his second skill up you don't need this one because the skill is gonna be on every turn and every three turns you're gonna reply the buff so you don't need this one that's why the best weapon is this one i use the last one because it looks cool and because i don't use fire ground i just want him to have his cool weapon with him but if i want to use fire ground i swap weapons because this one is the best one for him now about his set i use the revenge set plus the frenzy set and why the frenzy because the plus 40 critical hit damage i try to get all the critical hit damage that i can with some speed with a lot of damage he doesn't need hell or defense you can destroy the enemy not even critical key rate because he can buff the critical key rate and do a lot of damage so that's why i tried this it works and as you can see it gives him a lot of uh, points which it doesn't matter anyway but as you can see a weapon with attack body armor with attack gloves with attack boots with attack ring with critical hit damage and necklace with critical hit rate i need to swap this one look at the speed well i need to swap this one for critical key damage but uh, like uh, i haven't found an, any or oh, this one yeah i believe it's this one yeah i i need to level this up so i can do a lot more damage i can go over oh how much is this one it's like 84 percent wow that's a lot well if i I can swap some two attributes, it could be used for damage. This one is, is okay. I, I didn't want to swap the. This one, speed 14 is okay. This one, yeah, maybe this one, well, 50% critical hit damage is okay. 23. Hmm. Hard decision, though. I want attack, I want more attack, more 4,000 here plus 300%. <laughs> that's, well, that's a dream. But anyway, the next one, we got all these four. I believe the next one is going to be 
de Chicken Durahan, Dar Durahan. He's good, he's a controlling warrior because his first skill, the one that does petrification, remember, stun, petrification, or sleep are really good, but you can wake up the enemy with a hit, so the best one are the stun or petrification. The problem here is if you wanna use a controlling warrior, it's better to use water lomi because that's a AOE, AOE sleep, and this one is just a single target. Anyway, if you petrify someone, you can keep attacking him until his turn, but I believe it's better sleep. So, we got a slip here, we got the increase of critical kit right for two turns, plus damage. And about his ultimate, is just damage, passive with damage. So this one is not a really good warrior. Let's just use him for the petrification. I use him on one floor that requires to use Dardurahan in the Obelix and that's it. For PP is fun, but it takes too long to, to kill someone with him. So as you can see, it, I try to have him with a lot of speed so I can petrify someone on first turn and that's it. I recommend to use the counter-attack set, the ruin set, because of the petrification. And try to have critical screw ray because if he, if you want to petrify someone, it depends of, on the critical screw ray, not the, the buff ray, just the critical screw ray. If he lands a critical screw ray, he petrifies someone. If he doesn't land a critical kill rate, it just a small damage. And you're gonna fail and you're gonna die because he is paper. Take a look at his weapon. I use this one because it's for him and speed. And to be honest, I don't use much. I don't use any warrior to be honest. <laughs> Attack plus critical kill rate and speed. 14 speed, that's good. Health. Speed, critical heal ray, attack, critical heal ray, and the precision set. Because I believe I need a lot of that. As you can see, it's 10% and he's level 60. If I ascend him to purple stars, it's gonna be like just 20, I believe. Yeah, 20%. That's too low. Marine with critical key rate, speed, necklace with a speed, critical key rate. That's it. Next one, uh, we are going to okay, like Johan. He's the love for many, <laughs> I'm included. He's really good. He is really good looking. <laughs> Not a really good warrior. Because you can make him tanky or you can make him a damage dealer. And if you make him a damage dealer, you're going to lose so many fights. It's better to make him tanky and a controlling warrior. Because of the provoking you can get with his basic attack. With this provoke, the second one is just a reduction of the uh, enemy attack power. We got basic with a speed, so it's, it tells us that we need to provoke the enemy as soon as possible. And about his ultimate, you can increase the attack or increase the defense. If we increase the attack we are not gonna do much damage plus it's gonna be a single target so 
It's a no good. A no no. It's better to have him as tanky as you can. Provoke the enemy, buff his defense, and that's it. And reduce the damage. About the equipment, we can use the really weapon. I believe this one is the best really weapon. The first one is going to tell us to view him as a damage dealer. But you already know that it doesn't work. The second one is going to tell us to view him as a tank because they reduce damage. And the third one is going to tell us to view him as a damage dealer because more can do more damage but this one is the best weapon for him the refined relic i'm gonna use this one because um, it looks better but this one is the best one just to make that clear just take in mind building with a lot of health a lot of defense a lot of speed a lot is a lot a lot of speed because we need to provoke the enemy asap as you can see, his weapon is with the plus one on the speed. Body armor with attack. That's why, because I don't use him much, but don't, don't use attack on him. You don't need attack, you need health, defense, all of that. Rain with critical hero, you don't need this one I used because well you you get the point <laughs> and critical hero on his necklace. We better to use speed. I don't have speed, I have a speed bell we a different different set on this one same thing. Okay, next one we got Dar Elga Dar Elga She's a really good warrior. I wish I can tire her better. Well, it's because I haven't get the time to to work on her. I just believe she's really good on farming. That's it. Not in game, not raids, not even. Or maybe Colosseum. Or maybe Obelix, because when she got the skill balance, the first skill, which uh, is the only one I recommend to buff up, I mean to skill up this one, well, the, the ultimate is really good too, because more than one certain can be gained in a row if the enemy dies. That's really good. That works with the ultimate too. Yeah. She's the only one that got this type of description. The other ones say that they, the more than one to can be gained, I mean, can, cannot be gained in a row. So that little thing is really good. If we build her with a lot of damage, and I mean a lot of damage, some critical hit rate and a lot of critical hit damage and we skill up this one because we get more and more critical hit damage and more damage it translates on more damage we can kill one enemy and she's gonna kill every single enemy on the battlefield if we build her with a lot of damage well it doesn't work with right so end game is a no no for her. The rest where you can kill a ton of enemies is really good for her. Let's take a look of her equipment. As I said before, I don't use much warriors and I'm trying to do something better for their Elga, but at the moment it's just what I got. A lot of damage, she don't need health, she don't need defense, maybe some speed, she needs 
critical hit rate. She needs a uh, critical hit damage. And that's it. That's all. I'm going to show you what I got here. I can use damage. I recommend. Which one I recommend? The only set that gives her a lot of attack power, which is this one right here. The strength set. She don't need to counter attack. She need to be the only one to start the turn and start killing one by one. That's it. So we 45% more attack. She's gonna do a lot of damage. Let's try that. Maybe in the future I'm gonna try that with Fire Chrome. And the last one is Water 9. Maybe someone is gonna ask me if it's worth to buy Water 9. I'm gonna say no. He's really good. He used to be really good for Colseum because of his second skill which provoked the enemy so if you build him tanky you can provoke the enemy and because of his speed i believe yeah speed and defense and health you can uh, stay longer on the battlefield if so many enemies that are provoking for him to attack him but now it's not a good option plus his basic attack you need damage so you need to decide if building with damage or building with defense which is better defense you don't need to do damage with him you provoke the enemy control the enemy and do damage with a striker but this one gives him a, a shield based on his attack. And this one cure him or heals the user based on his attack. And that's it. You need to build this one too to have more attack. But as I said before, he's not really good. So I try to do some things with him with the the shot set. It doesn't work, <laughs> but it was fun to use him in the cool zone to stun the enemy, to provoke the enemy. That's the two that both do opportunities to win the fight. That's it. You don't need the counter attack, so it's better to use other equipment. And that's it, build him if you want, with a lot of speed, a lot of health, and defense, that's it. Take a look of the equipment, I got this one for free, I uh, didn't pull for that. And the shot set that has attack, but it, I use that just for, just to try the, the stun change, that's it. And we got to the end, we got everybody. Let's take a look one more time. Yeah, all 11 warriors that I have. The other one that I can get for free are Dar Snager. I believe he's really good if you build him with a lot of damage. He's like a damage dealer for the end game, maybe the light rate element. Fire Edgar, she is also a free to play hero. Fire Light Ray, she is really good breaking defense, so I recommend her for the raids. Any raid, use, use her if you need someone to break defense, and then you can do a lot of damage with a strike. She's not the. She's not uh, free to play hero, but well, she's the best. Fire Durahan, another controlling warrior, and Warrior Russia, which is okay. I'm gonna tire all of, all of them, so don't worry. You're gonna see that in the description of the video, and I think the set for the video almost the same as the Spanish one. I'm gonna say one more time. Thank you 
thank you very much for being here thank you very much if you like the video um thank you from the bottom of my heart if you subscribe to the channel share the video and i hope to see you soon the next one is gonna be the striker one is gonna <laughs> wow that one is gonna be really hard to make because we got oh wait never mind oh i thought we got more strikers so the last three videos is gonna be easy okay that's it i'm sorry it takes too long to make videos but let's hope in the future it might change because i like you guys and i hope to see you soon later